Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at the five different things that you could try to fix the auto rotation on your Samsung Galaxy Note 8. You can see here, I have turned on auto rotation, but still, it would not auto rotate. Now, the first thing we can do is try to um, wipe cache partition. This will most likely fix your problem. So, first, press on the power button and switch off the device. Wait for the phone to uh, switch off. After that, we're going to use the power button, the volume up key, and the big speed key. So press the three keys all at the same time. To put into recovery mode, press and hold. Now continue to press and hold until you see the Android logo appear. So press and hold. Now at this point, you can let go of all the buttons when you see the Android logo appears right here. So just wait for a few seconds. Now when you see no command, just continue to wait. Don't worry. Uh, it will take a few seconds. So continue to wait. And now you can see in here, you want to use the volume down key on the side here, volume down and move down to wipe cache partition. And then press on the power key. That will select. Then press on the volume down key to select yes. Press on the power key to confirm. And now it says wipe cache partition at the bottom here. And then it says we put system now after that. Press on the power key to select. We put system now. And the phone will now reboot. So we just wait for it to reboot itself. So it says we're booting. And now the phone will boot up. Okay, after the phone boot up, try to launch uh, the browser. So here I'm going to launch the browser and see if that works. So you can see here at the moment it's still not rotating. So what we can do is try the next method. So you can see here it's not rotating at all. So it's supposed to rotate. So another thing that you can try is to make sure that no third party apps is causing the rotation not to work. So uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to go into safe mode and to do that press and hold to the power button then tap and hold onto the power off here tap and hold and when you see it says safe mode tap on that and the phone will now start to reboot into safe mode once you are in safe mode only the default application will load up any third party apps that you have installed will not will not load so that will allow you to um, check to make sure that um, any third party app is not causing your phone not to uh, auto rotate. So we will take a look at that. So now I'm just waiting for the phone to boot up into safe mode. Down here you should see you should see it says safe mode. So let's go into safe mode now and let's check the auto rotation is on and then We'll try to launch something. So let's see if I can auto rotate now. So it's still not auto rotating. You can see the phone is not rotating at all. So this uh, will rule out that it's not a third party apps that's causing the issue. So that means we can now go and check on something else. So you can see here I'm trying to switch sideways and still not working. So that means it could be um, something else. So let's try uh, the next. Um, let's try with the next things. Now another thing we can do is we can restart the phone. So I'm just going to restart that. And once it put into your normal uh, home screen, we're going to try to reset the settings on the phone. So we just want to wait for that to boot up. Okay, once your device started up, try to go and reset it. So swipe down, tap on the settings icon, then uh, tap on general management, and tap on reset, then tap on reset settings, and tap on reset settings, tap on reset. And we are just resetting the settings only. You will not lose any data uh, during the reset settings. Now, if reset settings will not work, we we'll need to try to reset the, the, the device completely and that will cause you to lose data. So if you're going to do, if reset your device completely, make sure that you back up all your data before you go ahead. Mm -hmm. 
Now, so if it still doesn't work, then try to reset the whole thing. So reset and then tap on factory data reset. But before you go ahead and factory data reset, there's a few other things that, that you could try. So what I've done is I've gone to Play Store and install uh, an app, GPS uh, status. So you can install this app here, GPS status and toolbox and then open it. So open the app after you have installed it, tap on the mute key, then tap on diagnose sensors. In here it will tell you um, if all the sensors on your device is working or not. So just wait for a few seconds for it to diagnose your device. You can see here it come back with a lot of um, error uh, on my device. So you've got uh, accelerometer, it's not working. You've got gravity, it's not working and gyroscope is not working and so that means a lot of the things is not working orientation is also not working so a lot of the things in here seems like it's not working correctly so if that is causing your, your problem and you do not want to reset your device immediately you can also try to install the auto rotate app and see if that helps so this is the rotation control app so I'm just going to install it. So go to the Play Store and install Rotation and Control, and then install the app. And here you can see I can try to rotate the device. So let me launch um, this Google.com, and then I'm just going to connect to Wi-Fi. So if you haven't got time to um, uh, to reset the device and back up the data, you can use this auto rotation for now. The auto rotation allows you to um, rotate the device uh, sideways, as you can see. And you can go back to vertical view or horizontal. So you can rotate the device using an app. Uh, it is not ideal, but um, if you want to have an immediate fix, uh, temporary, then you can use the auto rotate device. And when you're ready, you can try to go ahead and reset your phone. So the final um, things you can do, you can do, you can try is to go into general management, tap on reset, then tap on factory data reset, and then go ahead and reset the phone. Then tap on delete all, and from there you can res this, uh, reset the device. So I'm just going to reset the device here. Okay, so the phone is not erasing and restarting, so we'll just wait for a few minutes uh, while that is going on.